All right, here is the ultimate review of my boobs with no shirt on. What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, throw a like on it, and turn your post notifications on, gang. Okay, I know y'all ready. Y'all ready for me to reveal these titties, okay? And I'm gonna reveal these titties to you. And I'm not just talking about the side peripheral. I'm not talking about, oh, okay, let me lift up my little shirt and you see my white teeth. I'm talking about, y'all gonna see these titties, okay? Are y'all ready? If you're ready, give this video a huge thumbs up right now. You're watching it, you might as well like it. Let's get trending again, okay? Okay, let's trend again. So before I reveal them, you know what I'm saying? I want to answer some of you guys' questions, but I will be revealing these titties to you, all right? Y'all want that infamous turn or what? Okay, say less. <laughs> okay, one more time, hold on. All right, so look, this video is strictly for an update of my breast surgery. A lot of you guys wanted an update. It's been like, what, a week or two since I, you know, even talked to you guys about it. It's been four weeks completely, and by Friday, it'll be five weeks since my breast surgery. So I'm four weeks post-op, you feel me? And I told you guys, yo, ask me some questions so I can answer them, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you the pros and I'm gonna tell you the cons. I'm gonna be 100% honest, things that I have struggled with, the things that I don't like about my breasts, and some advice that I would give you before getting breast surgery. But that being said, let's get into these questions. All right, so the first question is, are you able to wear stuff that you couldn't before? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like I was able to wear the clothes, but I wasn't as confident. I did not like wearing bright colors, and I only liked wearing black. It'd be occasional when you see me in colors, and it's probably when I'm going out. As you can see right now, I'm wearing a vibrant, bright-ass fucking yellow, and I feel a lot more confident. How has your mental state been since your surgery? Love from Africa. What up, Africa? My mental state has been a lot better. I would be in like a sunken place thinking about my boobs and like just being slouching and shit like that, so I feel like my mental state is way up you know I'm happier but there are some things that I wish that I wouldn't have to go through you know what I'm saying are you taking your sports bra off too I'm not wearing a sports bra I'm wearing like a I don't know if it's like a compression type surgical bra I think that's the name of it but yeah I'm not wearing a sports bra so I just keep on that bra and I have been wearing this uh, surgical bra for the amount of time I've gotten surgery so it's still it's been four weeks I have to wear it every single day I got um, a few of them so so the next question is what sleeping positions do you have to avoid post surgery Wow bro this is something that I do not like so if you love your sleep and you also really want to get a breast reduction no for six weeks you cannot lay in normal positions i have literally been laying in my bed and it's like the first few weeks were uncomfortable bro i have to literally have at least three pillows behind me two pillows on my under my arms and i have to lay like that i can't turn i can't roll over i can't do none of that and i love my sleep bro i love my sleep so it's like, it's really disappointing to me after getting breast surgery that I can't do that, but it ain't an end all be all. I love sleeping, cuss, but I can't sleep like how I want to. But is it worth it? Can you flip your thing down and reverse it? No, you just gotta stay stiff with it, stay stiff. But uh, yeah, that's my sleeping position and I have to stay like that. I can't lay on my breast. And even when it comes to people hugging me, let's move this down a little bit so y'all could get more of a, a visual of these titties. There it is, is that better? Now we can actually see my titties more, okay? But when, I hug, when I'm hugging people, it's just, hey, how y'all doing? But it's, it's still worth it, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know it's going to prevent me from having like leakage and stuff like that or uh, complications when it comes to my sleeping positions. This is one of the most asked questions that I get. What size are your boobs now? I don't fucking know, bro. I don't fucking know. I've been wearing this bra for so fucking long. I haven't even measured them, okay? I don't know. I don't know what size they are yet. They're going on to week five and I still don't know. I just know these is little cuz. Y'all remember they used to be like these and now it's like these. Go blah out. I really can't tell you a size just yet. I think once I'm able to wear actual bras, like or I guess sports bras or regular bras or whatever, then I'll be able to tell my cup size. But it's hard to tell because they're still swollen, my guy. Refer back to my video of me actually revealing my breast surgery. And when I came out on that wheelchair, you can see it's completely like, damn, where do her titties go? So I'm thinking I'm gonna be a really small size compared to a double D. What are some things you still cannot do. I can't sleep in regular positions like I just mentioned. I cannot work out. The most that I can do as far as working out is like walking. Today I literally went on a little walk mini jog and I was like, 
<gasps> and my titties was like, <gasps> you know what I'm saying? So I can't really work out like that. I can't really hug people like that. I can't really lift my arms as high as I would like without feeling like something. But other than that, I mean, I'm y'all see me on my stories, you know, I'm still like having a good time and like partying and stuff like that, but I'm like keeping it to a minimum. I can't dance like I want to dance. I want to do the most because I feel so light, but I'm not supposed to. This next question is, what are you doing to reduce scarring? At this moment, I can't do nothing, uh, according to my doctor. I can't do nothing to reduce scarring right now until after six weeks. Yeah, I can't, I, that's what he told me and that's what I'm gonna listen to him. He's a professional and I am an influencer. So I, I'm not doing anything right now, but once that six week does come, I am gonna be using like, you know, that, that there's some tape that can reduce scarring. This next question is the funniest question. Well, I have the funniest answer to it, but how how much more sensitive are your nipples, bruh? <sighs> Let me tell you. I just wanna say I'm blessed. I am blessed because my doctor did tell me it is possible that I could lose feeling in my nipples. But in my case, my nipples are more alive than they have ever been, bruh. It's like these titties, boy. I do this and I'm like, ah, oh, damn! What the hell? What is going on? My titties is sensitive as hell. I didn't even really like, like, you know, like when you with your girl, you know what I'm saying? You, some people like to be placed in different areas. I didn't really like my like titties touched like that. But God damn! <laughs> they so damn sensitive, it's like, they hug me and I'm like, ooh, girl, that, what is you trying to do me? Okay. You know, my homeboys, they literally coming in. What up, bro? They coming in, but you know when you come in and you do the shake and you do the, you coming in, then my titties just, bruh, you stay. I'm like, hold up, God damn it. Hey, bro, back up. Back up, son. Word to my mother, back up, bro. What's he trying to do? They're like, what you talking about, bro? I'm like, what is you trying to do, my guy? Like, see, you trying to caress me? You trying to turn me on, son? Chill out, bro. Six feet, six feet. That's how sensitive they are, you know what I'm saying? So I feel everything and sometimes I just find myself throughout the day just going like this. Like no cap, no cap. I just be like, and I gotta chill like, oh shit, people watching me like, you know what I'm saying? So they extra sensitive, super sensitive. So this next question is, how much weight did you lose after having your breast surgery? When it came to the surgery, I literally went to the doctor the next day and I actually weighed myself on the scale where they weighed me on the scale and it was like only a couple pounds lighter. But I guess boobs don't really weigh that much, you feel me? So it was only a couple pounds lighter and now that I'm four weeks in, I feel like my chest is so much lighter. So I lost weight up here, but my gut and my butt, this weight is feeling like it's stuck. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't. That wasn't a good one. Like I've said already previously that I've actually gained weight since surgery. So I feel a lot lighter at the top when it comes to my weight, but I feel a little bit heavier in my belly because you know, I can't really work out. And I already told y'all the type of body that I got. It's just like, girl, you getting thick. So now I'm tar starting to walk. I'm starting to do jogs, try to get this weight back off. You feel me? I don't think I really lost weight. Maybe kind of gained it. But in my titty area, my boobies, I would say a lot, I would say a lot. This next question is, do you feel more attractive now that you got it done? Yes, I feel a lot more attractive. Do you have drop stitches or you have to get them removed? My stitches, I don't know if they're called drop stitches, but I don't have to get them removed, they're like dissolvable. Uh, so yeah, that's the type of stitches I got. Pros and cons throughout your entire experience. Pros, my boobs are a lot lighter. Cons, I do get leakage, my boobs hurt, scarring, not being able to sleep like I wanna sleep. If I do tend to roll over the wrong way, I will wake up with leakage on my boobs. So this next person says, I wanna get a breast surgery removal when I'm older, but I'm scared. Do you have any advice for me? I would say, if you really want it, do it. Don't let nothing hold you back. You'll be happier to something that's gonna benefit you and you'll be happier with the results. So fucking do it. How are you not in pain? I am in pain when I do certain things. When I'm out in the, in the club doing the most, I be in pain after because I be like drinking this shit and I don't be feeling it in the moment. But when I wake up in the next morning, I'm like, ah, ooh, ooh, my back, my titties, ooh, ow. So 
I'll be in pain. All right, so somebody says, do you have any regrets with the surgery? I'm super glad you're okay though. No, I don't have any regrets. I don't have any regrets with the surgery. I feel like it's, it's a blessing. How many months will it take for your breast to fully recover? Because I wanna do a breast reduction too. My doctor told me it could be a while. Some people's processes are different and the recovery time is either longer or shorter. I know based off of my mom's experience, even in a year's time, her boobs looked a lot smaller. So even in that three months, they look like, damn, like she looked like she's fully recovered. But when it came to her results, a year later, she was way smaller than she was three months post-op. Why did you get a breast reduction? Um, well, maybe you're a new subscriber, new follower. I got a breast reduction because not only of my back pain that I was having, but just more of an insecurity and the things I liked and didn't like about my body and the way I looked in clothes, so. This person says, can you please reveal yo titty? All right, man, y'all wanna see these titties? Give me some music. I'm too sexy for this sir. too sexy for your girl. Hold on. A bitch done got fat. So don't look at my damn stomach, all right? Okay, don't look at my stomach. All right, here is the ultimate review of my boobs with no shirt on. All right, my nipples be hard. They be hard, y'all, they be hard. But don't look at the gut. Don't look at the gut. I think you guys have seen me in a bra before. On my YouTube channel, if you haven't, like, go look on my Instagram or whatever. I'm covering my nipples because they're hard already, okay? So don't try to lick my nips. Don't look at my nips. Here is the side angle of my titty. They are super swollen, like, all right here. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. Sometimes, like, it, it, it like, not bleeds, but leaks right here. I wish I could show you guys a picture that I took, but I was naked, so I couldn't I couldn't really do that. But my boobs used to be right here. I have a before and after picture that I can't show you, unfortunately. But I have a picture of my boobs being way down here um, and wide, like all the way over here. But yeah, these are my boobs. They're still big, but we'll come back and, you know, see how they look. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? This is what I look like. I don't really have that much cleavage. Um, yeah, I used to be all cleavage. Like if you guys remember, this would be all fucking cleavage right here. So if you guys have any more questions, I'm gonna answer them in the comment section, okay? Meet me in the comment section. I love you guys and thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Mm -hmm.